Howdy all of you delicious people. Today I'm here to talk about group B of The Masked Singer. Uh, we are into season 2 episode 4 and now we are in a completely different group of people trying to figure out who they are, uh, quickly guessing and hope that we can guess right because ultimately yeah, we uh, we only had just mere minutes to uh, come up with a quick consensus of who a celebrity could be under this mask. Ultimately, I look at, uh, or I'm going to look at uh, each one of these characters and maybe uh, quickly assess who they could ultimately be. But when looking at it, I'm going to also just say hey if you have a better suggestion let me know in the comments below uh i'm gonna go through and maybe if you mention like uh like hey from the clues like i got this and like oh yeah like okay i'll go and check that out uh because without a doubt some of these clues were hard for me to really uh like i think i latched onto the clues maybe more than i should have and and there's some clues where I was just kind of like, mm, I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not sure. So uh, I'm going to go through and let you know that the elephant had gone home tonight. I'm not going to tell you exactly who the elephant is until the end of the episode. I'll give you a double five count so it doesn't so you don't get spoiled on who the actual person is. And then once I get to that double five count, I'm going to spoil who the character is. And then after that, I'm going to go into a season review of how well or how not quite so well I've been doing through this season. Anyways, so let's get on to the guesses again. These are all like hugely quick guesses. A lot of ones are shots in the dark until I can get a real, true, legitimate uh, in my mind, research and time to think who these people could legitimately and really be. Anyways, because uh, maybe if there's a real suggestion out there or people are just like, oh no, it's clearly this person. Clearly the clues say this. And then I'll research it as well. I'm like, yeah, you are right. I'm like, I'm not familiar with this person or maybe I am familiar with this person. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Like, maybe it is. Maybe it is this person. So anyways, let's get on to the guessing. The frog. I don't know. There, the clues were um, saying that they will be remembered. Supposedly they have a Grammy. And I'm looking at these clues. And I'm just like, I don't know if these could be legitimate or not. It seems like the clues were also talking about this person being a Olympic athlete. And also had the words lightning bolt and all this rigmarole of this stuff here and there. Um, like purely based on tone, I went with the same comedian uh, Bill Bellamy, which I remember from uh, movies like How to Be a Player. Uh, he has really funny stand up and I've kind of just like I've kind of seen Bill Bellamy a lot through a lot of shows and stuff like that and I don't know I do I don't know why I made this guess uh because ultimately I just kind of like I just threw this out there um like I don't know the, just the sound kind of hit me bizarrely uh but I don't think that this could probably be a legitimate guess I don't know uh Usain Bolt ultimately lightning bolt being in the the clues uh, and Olympic athlete, of course, uh, and for Jamaica. Um, ultimately, I, I kind of guessed Usain Bolt because of one thing. Uh, ultimately, Usain Bolt had done a Grammy, uh, had hosted a Grammy party or had hosted some kind of Grammy party thing. Um, so ultimately, like, Maybe he hadn't actually had won a Grammy, but maybe he had hosted a Grammy show or a Grammy party or something like that. So that's where I could kind of tie Usain Bolt uh, to that. 
um, the whole uh, we will be remembered or I will be remembered kind of thing. Um, I don't know where that's from. Um, if there's like I, I kind of at first kind of searched uh, as it would be like a song lyric or something like that. And not much came up or what did come up. I didn't really quite consent could be uh, ultimately what this person could sound like. Uh, I guess a lot of people could have quickly just said it's like, oh, this is like MC Hammer, clearly. Uh, I don't know if I could really quickly go to that kind of guess and say that it's like MC Hammer doing his own song. Uh, and plus two, I think uh, MC Hammer like isn't quite this uh body type i'm not sure uh i don't know um but anyways like these guesses are shots in the dark if you have a better guess or if you know exactly who this is let me know in the comments below uh i would love to take a guess and shot in the dark and hope to be able to get this correct within the next weeks to come so uh because ultimately i'm sure by after this episode there's going to be a lot more internet guesses maybe the next uh week i will tie in uh some internet guesses that people might think of um some people here and there might uh know who certain people are and what have you so let's move on to the next person the elephant. I went and uh, had, like, the first thing that came to mind was obviously, like, okay, you have a drummer that kind of had been, like, a one-man band kind of thing. Uh, ultimately, I was kind of really thinking of, like, Travis Barker. Travis Barker kind of, like, really uh stepped out of blank 182 and really made a name of his own kind of having his own album just called travis barker uh ultimately that's kind of where that led me down that road of maybe guessing that it was uh travis barker dave grohl uh again like realistically for dave grohl like he when he was starting out before foo fighters was really a thing like, he would play every single instrument uh, for his songs, and then ultimately he just added people along later. Of course, he was famously known for being a Nirvana drummer, and, like, that's kind of where I kind of really went with this. I kind of really went a lot for drummers, even though uh, we're not exactly sure if drumming was the real, true, legitimate clue out of all this. Uh, there was like an X game clue and I was like, well, I don't know much about X game people. Um, so I don't know. Could be motocross, could be uh, skateboarding. I don't know. Um, I don't know what all all celebrities are into. They could be kind of into X games and whatever. I don't know. Tommy Lee. I ultimately like, I don't know. I kind of assumed that like uh, Tommy Lee had a single at one point. Technically singing. In some form or fashion, so I'm like, well, maybe his tone's different. Maybe it's been a while since he sang this and that. Maybe it could be Tommy Lee. Um, so, yeah. Other than that, yeah, those were kind of my guesses. And at the end of the episode, you're going to see if I was right and or wrong. And then again, uh, a whole season cap review and what have you. Uh, but these were just kind of my guesses about the elephant who had gone home tonight. Um, yeah. The kitty! The kitty. Not the kitten. The kitty. The kitty. Evidently her name is just kitty. Anyways. Uh, evidently there was a clue about pirates. There was a clue about uh, a person that hadn't really sang much before. Uh, ultimately kind of led me to Kira Knightley. Um, remembering her mostly being, like, she's done a lot of movies, but, uh, the one I really remember her from, besides maybe, like, Domino and, uh, and some things here and there that I just saw sporadically lately on Netflix. 
I remember her mostly for being in Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, which, who knows, maybe I kind of can allude to that being a clue. But, again, maybe not. Um, and Kira Knightley, I don't think she's ever really sang on film or nothing. Uh, so, yeah, maybe this is a good guess. Maybe this is way off. I don't know, kind of the body type also kind of alluded that, well, yeah, maybe maybe uh, this could be Kira Knightley in some kind of form or fashion. Uh, but again, uh, I was also thinking, like, uh, the person that actually sang the song, um, Ariana Grande, because I'm like, man, this actually sounds like Ariana Grande, uh, but then again, who knows, uh, because ultimately, I could be saying this, and then, like, the next week, I'll be saying something completely different. Uh, this, again, is a shot-in-the-dark guess, it's probably nowhere close, uh, let me know what you think down below who this person could actually be. And maybe uh, next week, if she gets eliminated, maybe I can guess correctly for once. So let's move on. The taco. You kind of just kind of like take a bunch of pictures and throw them on a dartboard. And that's what the taco kind of is. Uh, the taco is kind of an old soul. Um, reasonably, when looking at this old soul of a taco, uh, there was a number of names that could have came up, uh, via the sound or tone or whatever. Uh, ultimately, bizarrely, I kind of at first went with my gut, uh, thought of, like, William Shatner. I know the body type may not fit, um, but I just stubbornly was just like, what if it's William Shatner? <laughs> what if it is? William Shatner, just kind of like, with the way that the person talked, uh, with the way that the person sounded, I'm like, what if this is William Shatner, just to kind of like, be hilariously funny, and that's kind of what I went with, uh, uh, one of the judges guess Bob Saget, I'm like, sure, why not, um, I also just kind of assumed maybe it might be Michael Buble, because I haven't seen him in a long time, uh, could also be Henry, Henry Conning Jr. Could honestly be him. Uh, because again, uh, people that sing like this, there's only a certain number of them, uh, left out there that do these kinds of songs and this and that or whatever and what have you. Anyways, yeah, just my shots in the dark of who the taco could quite possibly be. But ultimately, if you guys have guesses of who the taco could be, and you're like, no, like, via the clues, it means this. I'm like, okay, all right. Uh, but this is where my guesses kind of lie for right now, for the taco. The taco. Moving on. Reasonably, I had gone on the Warwick train uh, once before with Miss Mouse, and ultimately I changed my answer to Shaka Khan because reasonably I was thinking that the whole time. Um... But now, this mouse character, which people assumed was Paris Hilton, I'm like, just wait till she actually sings, and it probably wouldn't be that at all. Sure, fire enough, this person started to sing, and I was kind of back on a Warwick train, but with a different character, with a different person. Um, honestly, to me, this sounded like Warwick in a lot of ways, so I just kind of was like, nah, maybe it's Warwick. Um, because ultimately, Shaka Khan is not Warwick, so, uh, yeah. It's kind of the only guess that I got right now. Uh, ultimately, if there are better guesses, maybe people are like, no, clearly, this is this person. Clearly, head, hands down, on the ground, doing the dance, with no pants, whatever. Uh, yeah. Could be Warwick, who knows. Uh, moving on. The banana. The banana. Yeah, uh, tone-wise and kind of clue-wise, but then again, how can you rely on any of these effing clues? Uh, I assumed that the banana could be Brett Michaels. Why? Uh, kind of the clues kind of really stuck out as a rocker, kind of stuck out as, like, a guy who wears cowboy hats, and ultimately the clues just kind of, like, and also the way this guy sounded, I'm like, man, 
this could be Brett Michaels. Uh, hearing his kind of thing that he said afterwards um, about uh, his daughter giving him a banana, I'm like, well, yeah, him and his, like, kids, he's really close to him. And, like, ultimately, like, yeah, I'm sure, like, his family, like, definitely wanted, like, I'm sure, like, definitely want, uh, like, he, he wanted to do this probably for his family much more, yeah, yeah, anyways. And plus to kind of get, get back out there as well. But anyways, yeah, I'm assuming it could be Brett Michaels. Sounds like him. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, maybe there's Poison fans out there that are just like, no, doesn't sound anything like Brett Michaels. What are you thinking? You're on drugs. And that's okay. Um, but I don't know. And a, a banana, and he ate a banana. I'm like, well, diabetics can eat bananas. It's healthy. It's a good thing. Get potassium, this and that. So... Um, because one of the clues was his daughter giving him a banana. So yeah, maybe, um, uh, yeah, maybe he was uh, working out and like his sugar was low. So hey, here's a banana. <laughs> Eat that. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, also I guess Bill Ingvall kind of uh, was one of the uh, uh uh people bringing up. Maybe it's Bill. Maybe it's Bill Ingvall. And I was like. Yeah, maybe it is. Uh, sure. Like, I'll go with that. I've seen uh, plenty of Bill stand-up. I've seen plenty of blue-collar things. I've kind of uh, seen uh, Bill doing a lot of projects here and there. Never really once really seen him really legitimately sing, but I've seen a lot of things to where, like, he's been on Dancing with the Stars, stuff like that, so maybe he's being the banana right now. Who knows? No one knows, except for people that actually know about the clues and what have you. Brett Michaels, if if really legitimately Brett Michaels is a banana, this is the like the one time that the clues have really like alluded to this perf this person and really said that like yeah, this person is Brett Michaels because yeah, you could be way effing off, and I'm gonna be so frustrated by the. The amount of time that I've spent really guessing who these people are and it's going to be so way off because the clues aren't anywhere close to guessing who these characters are. And it's so annoying. Like, especially when you would think, especially like the first time around when you're first seeing these characters, the clues would be the closest possible to the character because you're not going to have a lot of time besides one song to really get to know who these characters are. And then, like, so you get clues that give you absolutely nothing. You give a song where you're guessing out of, like, ten different people who could bet quite possibly be. And then eventually, by the end of this episode, they get unmasked and you're just like, God, I didn't have enough time with this person to figure out who it was. Like... There needs to be some kind of extra clues or something that more cements who this person is. Because ultimately, when these uh, characters were first showcased, I know I'm probably going to get a lot of them wrong. And that kind of just sucks. So yeah, it's very frustrating in that aspect of just like, yeah, there's pretty much a guarantee that you're going to get um, probably a lot more wrong than right. Because ultimately, if you don't know these people on a personal level... Or you, like, if you know these, if you're a big fan of these people, then yeah, clearly you're going to be able to figure this out. But without a doubt, uh, that's just life. That's just life. So, recently I talked about who all my guesses are, but now I'm going to tell you who the elephant uh, in the room is uh, by letting you know who the actual elephant was. Uh, so I'm going to give you a double five uh, spoiler count, and I'm going to actually show you who the elephant is. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to know, because you don't want to get it spoiled, then maybe click off now, but I'm going to go through and, uh, talk about who the elephant is, and then talk about the season review, we'll probably do a double five count in there as well, just in case you guys haven't seen every single episode. So now, so now we are going to unmask the elephant, if you don't want to know, click off now, but I'm going to show you who the elephant is. Now, the elephant was none other 
than Tony Hawk. I was so lit that, or lit, um, I was so excited, I don't want to say lit, uh, I was so excited that Tony Hawk was on the show. But I never thought in a million years that Tony Hawk would be on the show. I just, like, it didn't come up in my mind. If the clues said every single thing was skateboarding and a guy that was in a video game and a guy that was on a, um, a show overseas called, uh, MXC, like, I would have still not guessed to be Tony Hawk. I wouldn't think it would be Tony Hawk. Um, because ultimately I, um, uh, I remember, uh, Tony Hawk being on this, uh, show on, like, Spike TV or whatever it was called, uh, called Most Extreme Eliminations or something like that. Uh, it was kind of a show that was dubbed over. And, uh, every time at the end of the, at the end of the video or at the end of the show, they would always be like, don't get eliminated. Yeah. And like Tony Hawk was on there. Uh, and like, there was a very funny obstacle course running thing. Uh, I remember it just being called MXC. I don't remember what the actual, uh, complete initial stood for. Um, but yeah, uh, I really liked that show and just so happened Tony Hawk was on it. Of course, I know Tony Hawk from having all his uh, Tony Hawk uh, Pro Skater video games and, of course, being a skateboard um, fanatic and whatever and what have you. Uh, but ultimately, I don't know. I, like, I know that he mentioned that, like, luckily he was eliminated early because he didn't think that he had any kind of uh, much more uh, Rolodex or whatever of songs to, like, really go into, but... Uh, and maybe the show kind of realized that and maybe kind of maybe rigged it for him to go home early for some reason because that might be a thing on the show. But I don't know, like, man, Tony really does have a really great sound. And it's sad that we don't get to hear that very often. Um, but man, like, Tony Hawk is such a great guy. Uh, I Every time that I get to see him do something somewhere... It's always really enjoyable. I really, like, if even if he's, like, just kind of, like, commentating on some kind of sports thing somewhere, um, like, he, it's always very interesting. Like, um, every once in a while, I like, um, I like hearing uh, his interviews uh, about stuff here and there, uh, just kind of just talking about things. Uh, whenever I can, like, catch a thing about it. I think there was one interview where he did where maybe he was talking about Wayne Gretzky at some point. Um, talking about, like, uh, uh, when Green, Wayne Gretzky was with Arizona or something like that. Maybe I'm completely uh, wrong about that. Whatever. Maybe it wasn't even right. Maybe it wasn't even Tony Hawk talking about that. But maybe, uh, yeah. That was a thing. Anyways... Yeah, so, as I've kind of showed, uh, I was thinking of drummers. I wasn't thinking of X game uh, people, because I'm not familiar with that kind of uh, platform. Uh, I wish I was, but uh, I know only probably, like, the faces of that kind of thing. Uh, like, if you were to ask me, like, hey, do you know people from motocross? I would say no. Uh, the only person that I probably know from motocross is probably uh, Pink's uh, husband. That's about all I know. And all I know is that he's uh, Pink's husband. That's all I know. Um, and there's some people here and there that I know do motocross, but I don't know if they do it really professionally or whatever. It's kind of a hobby. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so... Tony Hawk was unmasked, so that means a big old L on the scoreboard for me. Uh, but I don't know. I'm I'm kind of hap I'm kind of okay with this loss because ultimately, uh, yeah, I didn't have a lot of time to figure out who this person was, and of course the clues are so like Bed Bath and Beyond. What I could have like, there was absolutely nothing that could really tie me quite easily to Tony. Uh, and plus in a million years, I wouldn't have thought that Tony Hawk would be on the show. 
uh, even though he's kind of done a bunch of different kind of mediums and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, I just didn't, I wouldn't think that Tony Hawk would be on the show. So I guess that's why he's on here, because you wouldn't think he'd be on here. Um, anyways, yeah, sadly enough, or sadly enough, like, I, I like that Tony Hawk, Tony's on the show. I really do. Um, good for him for being on the show and having just wanting to be in another uh, medium or whatever. Anyways, so now let's get into like the season review. If you guys don't want to know how well or bad I'm doing right now, uh, then you can skip this whole thing. Or at the end of the day, yeah, just uh, kind of chug along as well to see if I'm uh, doing uh, well or bad or sad or mad or whatever. So let's get into the double five for that so we can wrap this episode up. Oh, the mass Singer. Spoiler time of the entire season. If you haven't watched every episode, now is the time to go on Hulu and probably f uh, f watch all of it. Because now I'm going to be talking about the season so far as a whole. Have I been doing well? Have I been doing poorly? Have I just been giving up and just like, no, there's no way this season I'm going to be able to figure out anybody. No way! So, let's scoot down the road. So, so far, I have guessed four people. Four different people. And I don't know how, but I ended up getting three out of four so far. So, Ultimately, I knew like there was going to be somebody that was going to slip through the cracks eventually because ultimately I don't know exactly who people sound like all the time. And plus, there's some people that have never sung in their life. So it's kind of hard to really just go and like YouTube like, what does Tony Hawk sing like? <laughs> Has Tony Hawk ever sang? Hmm. Uh, and this and that. Like, there is never a time where I can look and see if there's some celebrity um, that has sang somewhere. Um, so, yeah. Ultimately, there is going to be somebody that slept, slept through the, uh, slipped through the cracks. But ultimately, I dare in fact have been doing questionably well. Uh, and I say questionably just because I don't know how I could have guessed these people. Um... And guess them eventually. Luckily, it took uh, me two episodes to get more clues about Drew Carey. Because uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have guessed who that was. Yeah, so these four characters, yeah, I got one wrong. But at least I'm still, like, batting a pretty good, well, portioned of mostly right. Um, so even if I get another, the next one or two characters incorrect by the following weeks, then ultimately I'll still be like, well, I'm still 50-50, I'm batting 500 now. Um, but ultimately I'll have weeks to kind of reassess and in my best ways, trying to really figure out who these people are. Uh, cause at the end of the day... Who knows? There's some kind of uh, maybe what I thought today, I'll think differently tomorrow. Um, maybe when I keep uh, hearing these people via their videos kind of repetitively going like maybe getting a little clue here and there, just kind of really kind of refreshing my thinking process and kind of narrowing down the searches and just going, yeah, you know what? I think it's this person now. Um, but ultimately now it's just a shot in the dark guess uh, to think uh, who these characters are. But at the end of the day, I don't know. Uh, ultimately, I'm just kind of like, well, I'm doing well still. I'm still doing well. Uh, I always go by, like, have I guessed more right than wrong? Rather than, like, I have to get every mass singer correct. Um, because there's just not... The clues are awful. The clues are really awful this season and and plus two you're not gonna have a lot of time to really like 
get a full taste of who you think this person is. Um, you're not going to get a full amount of time. You're just going to get this one performance. And there's been times where I, like, I would like to have a costume character I have two performances because ultimately then by the second performance like Leia Ali, the Leia Ali from the season before like I didn't know who it was but then I heard her six time around I'm like oh, okay of course it's Leia, Leia Ali and then I was correct um like now like you don't kind of get those opportunities like now it's like one and done and then you're like crap like dude I I, I just wanted a little bit more time um, but anyways, yeah, that's the way the show is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. But ultimately, yeah, three and one. I'm still doing good. I'm still doing good. Um, again, like Tony Hart, Tony Hawk was a shot in the dark. If people really guessed it was Tony Hawk, like then man, they probably were just kind of guessing a lot or maybe no uh Tony Hawk uh Tony Hawk's whole dialogue or catalog of career and ultimately we're just like well clearly it's Tony Hawk like clearly you can hear is Tony Hawk I couldn't make that consensus so yeah so yeah it is what it is so I'm gonna get out of here goodbye everybody goodbye everybody